Hello there and welcome to Choose. And so now for this first series, I will be doing uh, virtual machine tutorials with the help of VirtualBox, as you see here. And our first virtual machine we'll be saying today is DOS. And so for this, you, obviously you will need VirtualBox. So you can just go into the VirtualBox site, it's virtualbox.org. Just click that big sign that says download VirtualBox 5.2. I'm gonna close that. So now what you're going to have to start off with is say new in order to create a new virtual machine. And I'm going to have to call this one DOS. And so you'll see it automatically sets up to DOS. So in VirtualBox, there's basically uh, a bunch of platforms that you can select. You can even select Linux. Uh, this is a type of Unix. But for now, we're just going to go with DOS. And so click next. And so we'll need um, a minimum amount of RAM. And so here it's saying what the recommended memory size is 32 megabytes for DOS. And so I guess that'd be pretty reasonable because I guess it was the 80s and 90s. So 32 megabytes is uh, pretty much enough. So you can just go ahead and click next. Um, now this is the hard disk. Um, so we'll have to create a virtual hard disk where we will um, store all of our boot files and here it's think the recommended size of the hard disk is 500 megs and that's also enough as well. So just go ahead, click create a virtual hard disk now, just select that option, click hit create. Um, you can actually select anything that you want, uh, VDI, which is a virtual box, this image, VHD. For me, I like to go with VHD because, um, because like the file is kind of extractable. So that's why I like VHD. Otherwise, you can actually select anything you want, but I just like VHD. Um, for this, um, you want to select the dynamically allocated uh, so that it will, as you see, our dynamically allocated hard disk file will only use space on your physical hard disk as it fills up. Otherwise, a fixed size hard disk may take longer to create on some system, but it is often faster to use. So. It's better to go with dynamically allocated. So just go ahead, click next, 500 max. Great. Let's hit create. Hey, that rhymes. And yeah, that's basically it. No, I'm kidding. All right, so now what we have to do is go into settings. And so we have to go into, all right, so for display, um, usually I like to hit up all the way to maximum and like to hit uh, both enable 3D acceleration and 2D video, but it looks like it doesn't allow 2D video, so I'm just gonna do 3D acceleration and my maximum uh, video memory. Um, you can keep it at seven megabytes if you want, but I just like to pump it all the way up. You go into storage, and you'll see um, this is for the floppy, and this is for the hard disk and, and the CD drive. And so what you wanna start off with is by uh, downloading a, um, a virtual hard disk, which I will provide in the description. So it will come into a file called msdos 6.22.zip. So it will look like that. And so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to extract it, and then it will come into this file like this. And so you can just go right into there, just hit the first one, it'll say DOS 622. Um, one dot img that means it's a virtual virtual disk file and and img files are basically virtual floppy files that's what virtualbox takes it as and so the reason why we're taking virtual floppy disk and it's not um uh like a cd or iso file right away is because um because this one the um this dos that we're using is doesn't have a CD-ROM driver. So that's why we're gonna have to go with the floppy because again, it was the 90s or 80s. So so there are actually, um, there are three uh, image, three dot IMG files. And so DOS will tell us when to uh, open those. But for now, we're gonna have to start off with um, DOS 6221.IMG. All right, great. So now that we have our boot device in, you can go ahead and click start. And it will just load up the machine. There it is. All right. 
So it's starting MS-DOS. All right, so Microsoft MS-DOS 6.22 setup. Uh, welcome to setup. So just, um, if you wanna go ahead and pause the video and just read this if you want, um, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead. So just go ahead and click enter. Uh, say configure allocated disk space to format your virtual hard disk. And so now so we'll restart your computer now and it'll make sure sub disk one is in drive A, which means the floppy disk. Yes, we do have it. And just go ahead and press enter. Now it's gonna start formatting it. So if you have a, like a good processor, like a quad core, then it probably do it pretty fast, just like how it did for me. If you have, if you're running VirtualBox on Windows XP, I mean, why would you be doing that? Then obviously it will take a longer time. So just go ahead and say these settings are correct. Um, yeah, we want we want the directory as C DOS. Okay, so now it it has uh, added the files from disk one. So now what you want to go ahead and do is insert disk two dos six two 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 dot img. And once you've done that, press enter. Now you want to insert uh, disk three. So that will be dos six two two three dot img. Once you've done that, hit enter. Now it's saying remove disk from all floppy disk drives. Then press enter. So let's go ahead, click remove this from virtual drive. Press enter once you've done that. Now you'll see that the installation is complete. And yeah. So you can just go ahead and hit go into, um, into machine. Just hit reset so that you know DOS is actually booting up well. And yes, it does. And so now some additional things that you can actually do is, um, so I actually have a, you can install a CD-ROM driver if you want, and I'll also include that. So it comes in a file called dosdrivers.zip, which will also be provided the link of the, or providing the description. So just go into DOS drivers, that'll have to be extracted. Then just go ahead and hit CD-ROM hit that and then into the docs prompt you want to type in a a colon then you want to see what's in the file there so this is basically it then what you want to hit is in or what you want to type in is install.exe and then that that is what we want So it's just installing it. Completely installed, perfect. Now just go ahead, click reset. Oh, whoops. If, okay, so after you're done um, installing it, just say remove this from virtual drive. Now you say reset. There we go. Yep, it has detected it. Okay, so for this one, mine is saying drive D is the CD-ROM driver. So if you say D, so yes, it is available. So now um, some other things you can do is, so just uh, go ahead and click, uh, right click the CD image, say choose disk image, get the DOS drivers. And then this is something called Sound Blaster 16. That's actually your sound driver. So um, you can go ahead, say DIR, then what you want to say is install.exe. All right, so this audio software installation, click enter, Just say full installation as it's recommended. Uh, go ahead and click enter. Uh, so go ahead and click enter and it'll start, start installing. All right, then what we can say is we can um, remove the disk, then hit F10 to reboot. 
and then hopefully the driver will be installed. Perfect, so that audio card is actually installed in. Now some things you can do is you can uh, install some applications if you want, which I'll be providing in the link in the description below. All right, so you can download this file that I've provided in the description. So you can play Doom, which is actually a DOS game, uh, which was first a DOS game. And so you're gonna have to extract that and then into this folder here. Then what you're gonna have to do is go into here say so choose disk image um, go into your doom folder choose doom1.img okay so now you're gonna have to go into the a drive then let me go into dir and then you can just say install dot bat then you can just say install and see So you can just say C, yeah, and then that directory does not exist. Create it, just press Y. And now it's asking for the other disk image, doom2.img. Finish rebuilding. Insert disk one again. So insert it again. Press enter. All right, so we can just. So it's up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to select keyboard only for music playback device. Select general MIDI, hit enter, enter, uh, sound effects device, sound bluster, enter, 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 enter. All right, great. And then you're going to just say save settings and run doom. the game just say CLS just to clear everything out and yeah that was basically the um, it's basically the installation of DOS along with some other drivers and applications being installed um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial and found it really helpful for you to set up your um, to set up DOS into a virtual box uh, virtual machine and yeah so this has been choose, choose your action or choose to not.